Hello everybody, this is the magic man, the tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, coming back at you again with another video. This is the magic man, the tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, coming back at you again with a a video man I have I've been away for almost two months or more but I'm coming back at the right time we got the Madrid man we got big fed is back we got all kind of questions to answer so I want to do a preview because I think this Madrid I think this is a very important Madrid this tournament cassette you may say, well, Magic Man, all the Madrid tournaments are big and huge. But no, no, people, this Madrid, it could set the tone for not just who wins the French Open. It can set the tone for the for the entire year. People, let, let me just explain what I'm saying. People, the Djokovic isn't playing well. Uh, but he could get it together before the French Open. He could get it together during the Madrid. The Dow isn't playing well. Um... And I'm going to go over this here. Fognini, he's sort of back in the mid. Well, not back in the midst. Fognini finally won him a Master Series. He's playing well. We got Team, who's a big threat to win the French Open. Team is, uh, if there was any year that Team could win it, this is the year. I'm telling y'all. And Team also uh, beat Federer in the Indian Wales. So not only, with, not only has Team proven he can win on clay. Hey, team has shown that he can win on the hard court. Court. Remember, I told y'all that last year. That team, he should be even better on the hard court, even on grass with those big strokes he got. Okay. All right. And um, and we got big Fed is back. We want to see. We want to see. Hey man, Federer won to Miami. Uh, he blew it. He blew it against Team in the Indian Wells final. I wanted to do a video on that because I didn't feel Federer played with the urgency at the beginning. He allowed Team to get back into it, and he blew that at the age of 37, almost 38. Federer can't be blowing things like that, but he came back into Miami. Boom! Federer fans are happy. Federer is winning. He's looking good, and he's playing the clay court season here. Okay, so let me. You might say, "Well, imagine, man, what's the purpose of this video?" Okay, people, this video, I got to get to Nadal is playing. Felix, he's playing my boy Felix. Uh, uh, Alia Sim is one of my favorite new generation of players, so I want to do a separate video on that. That's going to be interesting. Okay, so let me just tell y'all what I'm looking for in this Madrid. Okay, I'm going to start with the lesser. I'm going to start with the say the lesser narratives, uh, the lesser things that could happen, and I'm going to build towards the greater things. So let me start here, people. I just miss, mentioned to y'all Fognini. Fognini won the Monte Carlo. He upset Nadal in the semis, I believe. I was key. I thought the Magic Man wasn't watching it, but I was watching it. Uh, I want to see can Fognini. I mean, he may not win the Madrid, but will Fognini push into the semis at least, or at least the quarters? Will he continue to play well? Uh, or is Fognini just going to go back and be like Fognini? But Fognini, people, listen, I wasn't surprised that he won the Monte Carlo because Fognini, Fognini, just like Monfils, they've been playing better and better in the last year. So, so that's the number one. I want to know, can Fognini... If not win the Madrid, is Fognini going to continue to beat top players? And can Fognini at least push it to the semis, finals, or win the Madrid? Okay. Now, number two is let's go to big team. Team uh, just won Barcelona. Can team win Madrid? Uh... Uh, I forgot what side team is on. If, if he's on the Dow side or Djokovic side, but can he beat those guys? Can team beat the top players? Can team beat Federer, the Dow, and uh, and and Djokovic? And like I said before, this is a big opportunity for team. The Dow isn't playing well. I, the Dow may get it together now. He may get it together before the French Open. He may not get it together. Remember last year, people, yeah, Nadal lost against team in the Barcelona, I think. But remember, Nadal won the Monte Carlo last year. 
this year he lost against Fognini. So this is sort of uncharted territory for Nadal. So this is a big chance, a huge chance for team to uh to not only win the Madrid, uh team has a chance he's a top favorite to win the Rome and he's a top favorite favorite to win the uh uh, he's not the favorite, but he's top, top favorite to win. One of the top, top favorites to win the French Open this year. So can team take advantage that Nadal and Djokovic are not playing well? Okay, okay, now let me get to the third thing. Let me see. Now the third thing that I'm looking for is... Uh, I told y'all about Felix. I wanted to do video. Now, people, I did one video on Felix. So if you just type in Tennis Profit, Felix Aliasim. And will he be great? I, I did it last year. And my, my conclusion in the video was, even though Felix was only 18, he hadn't won nothing like he's winning now. I said that Felix Aliasim will be great. And people can see that now. I think he just beat Shapovalov. So Felix is playing Nadal, I guess, tomorrow or the next day. So I'm going to try to preview that. So I want to know. So, okay, Felix, he made it to the semis of the... And the Miami. I was hoping he would win, so I wanted to see him play Big Fed. But Felix, so I want to know. So, so now Felix, in the last two clay court tournaments, uh, the uh, Monte Carlo and the Barcelona, he didn't do quite as well. But I, but I know that's he having to adjust to the clay. So I, you know, I give him some leeway there. And uh, so he just beat Shapovalov. So can Felix beat Nadal tomorrow or uh, Tuesday, whenever the match is, and and can Felix, can he push, can he get his clay court level back to the hard court level? That was, so he made it to the semifinals of the Miami Open. Can Felix push into the semis, at least the quarters? And can he beat the top, top players like a Federer, a Nadal, a Djokovic, a team? Okay, all right. I think he's already, I think he beat team in one of the Master Series on hard court, I think. Okay, so, okay, so the, the, the fourth thing I'm looking for is just, will any of the other guys step up? Like, uh, I mean, will anybody else win the Madrid uh, besides Federer or Nadal or Djokovic? I mean, Del Potro is back. Can he win it? Uh, can Monfils win him? Remember I told y'all, Monfils is just in that same category like Fognini. They playing better and better and better. Fogney finally got him one. So with Monfils, uh, would he get him one? So uh, or any of those other guys, can Zarev get it together? He's falling off. Um, can any of those other tits, uh, Titsy Pots, would he get it together? Um, well, when are those guys winning? Okay. Uh, now let's get to the big stuff now. Okay. I don't know what's happened to Djokovic here. Uh, Djokovic is saying, I don't know if this will happen. It could happen. We know Djokovic can put it together. But Djokovic is saying he'll be ready by the French Open. So uh, I always told y'all, we know Djokovic can, you know, he's winning and winning and winning. Djokovic can get tired of winning and maybe lose that one game like he lost against Zarep in the ATP finale 2018. But people... This has been going on. This ain't just no one match. This has been going on for two months and a half. Where Djokovic, he's really fell off. He just hasn't fallen off a little. He's fell off. Remember I told y'all, there's four uh, uh, Djokovic levels or modes. You got like the average the Djokovic that beats a lot of players. You got the good the Djokovic that pretty well, the good Djokovic. Good Djokovic can beat top, most of the top 10 players. Uh, then you got the very good Djokovic that only Nadal and Federer and, uh, can beat at their top level. And uh, then you got the Gamo Djokovic that nobody can mess with. Djokovic ain't even playing. He's playing like, he could be playing below average. I mean, he, I don't even know if Djokovic is playing average. So let's see if Djokovic can get it together. Now listen, man. Uh, Djokovic could lose. Um, I, what I want to see is can he at least get to the semis and get out of this getting upset by people he shouldn't be getting upset by. Okay? Like losing in the second or third round or first round. Okay, now let's get to the second thing. Nadal. Nadal has fallen off. Can Nadal get it together? You can never count Nadal out. Nadal is... Uh, he, you got to still keep Nadal as the favorite. 
Uh, it may not be as clear as it used to be, but um, yes, the Dow has fallen off. And the Dow question is, can he can he win the French Open? I know the Dow. Okay, the Dow would like to at least at least win the Madrid or the Rome, so he can go into the French Open with some with some of that confidence that he used to have. But can the Dow get it together? Or will he not be able to get it together? Will he almost get it together? Will he will he lose the Madrid in the Madrid whatever round? Will he lose in the wrong whatever round and then win the French Open? Or will he win the Madrid, uh, lose in the Rome and then still lose against a team or a Djokovic or a Federer or a Felix Aliassim in the French Open? Uh, we don't know what can happen, so it's exciting, okay? So let's and let's get to the last thing, people. Uh, can Federer win the Madrid? I'm definitely I'm watching Federer. People, Federer, he, I, I told y'all when I previewed the Indian Wales, Federer got it made. Federer got it made. He's under no pressure. He's not under any pressure in this Madrid. He he got free points. He, he doesn't have to defend any points. Everything is extra. Cream on the top. Whipped cream on the top. I'm watching Federer. And people, let me tell y'all something about Federer's game. Federer's game now, I don't like it as well on the grass and the hard court because Federer, the Federer fans, I know what I'm talking about. When Federer's on top of his game, I'm talking about that top Federer, Federer doesn't allow you to win too many points on the serve. Okay, people, with this new game Federer been playing the last couple of years, uh, he's able to stay in the points longer. Somebody might say, well, that's good, Magic. Yeah, that's good for Clay. I, I, think, on, I think on grass and on the hard court, Federer fans want to see Federer doing that one-two, the way he was doing it in 2017. But Federer, he has been able to take that. I call it like a high B-level game. It's a, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a game that's a more mentally-based game where he's able to stay in the point and stay in rallies longer because Federer used to not be that way. So I think that type of new game Federer has developed over the last couple of years and that's actually a better game for Clay. But like I was saying, people, I like when Federer, I like Federer when he's on the other surfaces. I like when he's pretty well serving 40 love or 45 at the most. And that's when you know Federer is on the game. When most of his serving, most of his serving, serving games is like 45 at the most, 40, 30 really at the most, and the, and the game is over. But now, the last couple of years, I know Federer, he, 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 he does more of an off-speed serve where he allows opponents to touch his serve more. He don't go for as many aces, but that's actually a good clay court game. So it will be interesting to see how Big Fed plays on the clay. I think he's going to do better than people think he, uh, he's going to do. Federer, he, he, listen people, Federer would have won the French open four, five, six, seven times if Nadal would not have been in his eras, okay? And so, Federer is one of the second best clay quarters in the last 15 years. Right, right, he's under Nadal. And Nadal is, Nadal is way above everybody else. But people forgot, Federer got the second best record the last 15 years on clay. So Federer can play on clay, people. Okay? And uh, that's pretty well what I'm looking for, man. So like I said before, it's going to be interesting. Um, let me just see. Who's the favorite? I mean... Of course, anybody can win this now with Nadal not playing at a good level, but you still got to say Nadal is the, he ain't the clearest, Nadal isn't a clear favorite, but you still got to keep Nadal as the favorite. Okay, people? Uh, and of course, if, if somebody said what well, team is the favorite, I have no problem with that. But I'm going to keep Nadal as number one, and I put uh, team number two, all right? And, uh... Whatever order you want to put Fed, if somebody, listen, if somebody want to say Federer is number two, I have no problem with that. Federer, Federer could win the Madrid. Federer could win the Rome. And Federer, people, I'm going to do another video on that. I'm the only person on YouTube typing Tennis Profit, and uh, it's a French Open preview. I did it, people, back in February. I said, don't be surprised if Federer wins the French Open. And the thing is, people, I on a lot of factors that could happen but I had no idea that Dow would be playing this bad and Djokovic would be playing this bad so Federer has a chance I don't care
care what anybody say to win the French Open. Okay, people, and to win the Madrid, and to win the Rome. Okay, people, tennis preacher, prophet, psychic, signing off. It's nice to be bad, people. Have a good one. The magic man, the tennis preacher, the prophet, the psychic, coming back at you again with another video.